what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of crashing freezing or lagging issue you're currently having with subnautica so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial in the end you'll perfectly know what you're doing in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys you would support my work on youtube a little bit and i'm gonna really really be thankful for that and i'm gonna thank you for that so anyways i would just say let's get right started so the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is going to be to open up your task manager by just simply navigating down to your taskbar. You're going to right click and open up your task manager. Next step is going to be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen where you're going to click into processes just, just to, that, to, <laughs> to ensure that you're sticking around it. And uh, afterwards, I want you to, I know it's going to sound a little bit weird guys, but trust me, I want you to simply end every single process which is currently running for two reasons. So first of all, too many applications, programs, background processes running at the same time on a low end or bad PC will cause your PC to have crashing, lagging or freezing because it can't handle that anymore. And the second reason, like it was for me, there are some applications and processes which are currently third part in your game causing it to crash or to freeze in some way. So that's just simply end those tasks and by doing that you're avoiding this issue. Once you're finished, I want you to anti task manager. And the next step is gonna to be to search an empty spot on your desktop. So just search it, search it, right click, click onto display settings. What I want you to do next is gonna to be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen where you're gonna ensure that you're sticking around display. And afterwards, just simply identify which your main monitor is. And obviously this just applies if you have more than one. So once you identified it, scroll down to scale and layout, where well, I want you to change the size of text apps and other items to 100% as recommended, and the display resolution should be the same as in-game. So for example, if you have an in-game like 1720 by 1070, I also want you to apply this to your display resolution. So once you're finished, I want you to simply end the, the uh, settings again. And the next step is gonna be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, where you're gonna click onto Windows symbol and open up your settings. We're gonna navigate to update and security and stick around Windows update. And I know guys, it's gonna sound a little bit basic, but trust me, updating every single driver you could possibly update on your PC will help you a lot of every kind of issue you're currently having. And also with crashing, lagging, FB FPS drops, whatever. And uh, by just simply downloading the latest version of Windows, you are avoiding this issue or helping you with that. So just download it. And once you're finished, end the settings and do the same thing for a graphics card. So go to the application, go to the browser and download the latest version of that just to provide the best possible performance for your PC in general. That's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one, guys. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah, guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.